Diabetes mellitus type 2, also known as type 2 diabetes, is a long-term metabolic disorder that is characterized by high blood sugar, insulin resistance, and relative lack of insulin. Common symptoms include increased thirst, frequent urination, and unexplained weight loss. If I must choose a chronic disease, among cancer, autoimmune disease, arthritis, heart disease and other chronic non-communicable diseases, I would choose diabetes type 2. It is the only chronic disease that you could control like the captain of the ship who guides the ship. Cure and control are in your hands and the doctors can only guide you. With proper informed knowledge and strictly adhering to the right diet, exercise and medication, you could achieve a lifespan like those not having diabetes. A fasting blood sugar level less than 100 mg is normal. A fasting blood sugar level from 100 to 125 milligrams is considered pre-diabetes. If it's, if it's 126 milligrams or higher on two separate tests, you are considered as a diabetic. If your blood sugar level tops 600 milligrams per deciliter or 33.3 millimoles per liter, the condition is called diabetic hyperosmolar syndrome. Severe high blood sugar turns your blood thick and syrupy. One of the main aims of diabetes treatment is to keep blood sugar levels within a specified target range. The key is balancing your food with your activity, lifestyles and diabetic medicines. Blood glucose monitoring can help you understand the link between blood glucose, food, exercise and insulin. This graph explains the blood sugar levels of both a non-diabetic and a diabetic. Non-diabetic fasting level is less than 100 mg per deciliter. A diabetic may have a fasting level of 120 mg per deciliter. After two hours eating a carb diet, the non-diabetic sugar level will not go up above 140 mg per deciliter. In a diabetic at two hours after meal may rise even up to 180 mg per deciliter. Within two hours, the non-diabetic curve from the peak level will come down to the fasting level. In a diabetic not treated, the curve will remain, will maintain at a high level for hours. HB1AC or A1C is an estimated average of your blood glucose reading over two to three months. The blood glucose gets sucked into the hemoglobin of the red cells. This process is called glycation. This test determines by measuring the percentage of glyco glycosylated hemoglobin in the blood. This is the most reliable test presently to check how well you have managed as a diabetic person to control the disease. It is sometimes referred to as a memory test. You need to get this test done every six months and assess your diabetic control. 
A reading of 5% will indicate that your blood sugar is on an average 97 milligrams per dill. Reading of 7% indicate that your average blood sugar is 154 milligrams per dill. 8% indicates that your average is 183 milligrams per dill. A non-diabetic will give a reading of less than 6%. A diabetic must maintain SP1AC below 7%. About fasting blood sugar. The fasting blood sugar is a reading that you take in the morning before breakfast. This test is suitable to diagnose diabetes rather than to check your controlling your blood sugar levels. Diabetics will always have a high fasting blood sugar reading. Do not worry about it. Random tests at 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. will give a better estimate of your diabetic control, though unreliable. When your diabetes is well controlled, the six monthly HPA 1C would be sufficient. The most common complication of uncontrolled diabetes is kidney damage. Routine blood testing for blood creatinine, blood urea, and EGFR estimate that is estimated glomerular filtration rate test with examination of urine for microalbumin and creatinine will give an assessment of the situation of your kidney functions. EGFR reading should be above 60 milliliters per minute. Any reading below this should be considered as having a diabetic kidney. Your blood sugar needs to be tightly controlled. If neglected, your EGFR will drop. When it comes down to 15 milliliters per minute, you will require dialysis. A note on metformin. Most diabetics start with metformin. It controls early and mild diabetes. If you have diabetic kidneys, when the EGFR is less than 60 milliliters per minute, you need to stop the drug. Further studies have shown that metformin, also sold as glucophage and novometformin, says nearly one in four patients could experience dangerous side effects. Metformin can cause a side effect called lactic acidosis, a buildup of lactic acid in the blood that is fatal in half of all cases. Hydration by drinking adequate water is important to clear the creatinine a waste product in your blood. Other complications of uncontrolled diabetes are damage to heart and blood vessels, eyes, nerves, gastrointestinal tract, gums and teeth. My message, diabetes is a disease that opens the gates for many other diseases like metabolic syndrome, coronary heart disease, obesity, organ damage, kidney disease including cancer. Please control your sugar with strict discipline and lifestyles to continue life as free as the non-diabetics. Hope this video conveyed the message. Thank you. Everywhere I look today Made me stop and made me say Thank you Lord for giving me The chance that I might see Pretty flowers all around Butterfly that makes no sound That's when I stop and tell myself How lucky I must be